guys, Matt the Riffmaster here! It's been a while since we've done a video like this. I mean, we've been doing a lot of live streams lately, which is cool, nothing wrong with that. Uh, but today I just thought I would sit down, and we would chat, and talk guitars, and have a good time, and yeah. So guys, there is one thing I was really interested in uh, addressing today. And um, I get a lot of comments on the way I hold my guitar pick, right, and I have done since I've started YouTube. Now the way I hold my guitar pick is the way I've always held my guitar pick and uh, people always say oh you should try it this way, this way oh you hold the pick like Hetfield you're a Hetfield wannabe <laughs> dickhead. But that's not the case, that's just how I've always held the pick but it got me thinking today is it, is it possible to change your style of how you hold the pick and if it would be an easy transition after doing it for so many years one way and learning that way, if you change how you hold your pick, is it is it gonna change things? Is it gonna be like I've always thought it I've always thought it dickhead. I always thought it would kind of be like starting from scratch, like learning again. Um, because the way I hold my pick is how I've built up strength to pick. So I was curious today to see if it's possible to transition into another way of holding the pick without losing any of the the skill that you you got from doing it the first way, the way you learnt it. I think that makes sense. So guys, we're just going to find out today and see if it's possible. Now guys, the way I've held my guitar pick for all the years I've been playing guitar, yes, it's the James Hetfield style, but damn, shit, he doesn't fucking own it, does he? Anyway, the, the way I've held that pick, I've always found I've been able to get a lot of attack and a lot of chug and aggression when I'm playing. And uh, that's just how it's felt, that's how it's always been. So we'll see if we can get that same kind of feel coming from me personally, if I hold the guitar pick in a more traditional kind of way, something like that. So we're gonna find out today, guys. So I guess the only way to do it is to just find out. Now you all know what my playing is like, the way I've held it. You know, the whole two fingers and the thumb grip, you know, it, a good attack on the string. Uh, so we're gonna hold it with the index finger and the thumb and see personally for me how it feels if it feels any different and just to see what happens so let's just like riff out and jam and we'll come up with some kind of conclusion <laughs> Okay, so just for some little strummy type stuffy kind of thing, um, it felt okay to holding it like that. I mean, it didn't feel any different. But now let's move on to some um, chuggy chuggy riffy goodness and see how it kind of, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so, just from a little bit of um, playing there, uh, at the beginning with the strummy stuff, you know, that, that kind of, that felt okay. Uh, there's a little bit, I think, in the back of my mind thinking I don't have enough support holding the pick, so there's that kind of 
worry in the back of my head that I'm not going to give it everything because I'm worrying it's just going to fall. Um, but like I said, that may be just because it's new. It probably is just because it's a new way. But when it comes to the chuggy stuff, um, I felt like I had similar attack than when I would hold it how I've always held it. Um, again, there was the bit, the little thing in the back of my mind that made me think, you're going to drop it. Uh, this is uncomfortable. But like I said, that's probably just because it's a new way. Um, it did feel different. Uh, I wouldn't say... I felt like I was starting from complete scratch, like a complete beginner, uh, which I thought it would because, you know, playing a certain way for like 14 years and then changing that, I thought it would just be like a whole new, kind of like if I played left hand guitar, like that kind of vibe. I thought it was going to be like that, but it wasn't, which is quite surprising. Um, so I might kind of, what do you think guys? Should I try to see if I can stick with that kind of picking? and see how I progress with it, see how I find it when it comes to doing a guitar cover, when it comes to any other playing, maybe we can see how it goes and see if it is possible to transition from one way of holding a pick after so many years into another way without losing any of your technique and ability. Now I am going to state straight away, I'm not doing this video just because everybody's been saying you hold your pick like Hetfield and all of this gay stuff. Uh, I'm just doing it as a little experiment. It could be quite interesting to see because obviously you guys know I don't do anything anyone tells me to. Now, I'm doing this because I want to see if it's possible to transition from one way of holding your pick to another way without losing all the ability and the, the strength you've built up from doing it for so many years. Now I do possibly feel it might have a slight advantage when it comes to doing some lead stuff, a little bit more flexibility in a way, but I mean of doing a few lead parts the way I've always held it, it's kind of, it's not that much of a big deal, you know, I just adapt a little bit, but yeah, I'm quite interested to see guys, so let me know your thoughts down below if you think it is possible. And if you want me to sit to carry on and see how I get on for like a couple of weeks or a month and see what happens, we can come back and review after a certain amount of time and see what the full on verdict is. If it is completely possible to keep all your skills and ability from changing the way you hold the guitar pick, because it's quite a big thing. I mean, 14 years of holding the guitar pick one way since I started to another way, it would be It'll be different, it'll be strange, but we'll see guys. We will see! And maybe you guys could give it a go yourselves. Maybe transition into another, not just maybe not just the way you hold the pick, maybe the way you do something that you've done for so many years, trying something different and see what happens. I don't know. Let me down below. What Let me down below. Dickheads. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens. If I can still keep all the, the chuggy down pickery what's it and not sits. Uh, so I'm quite excited guys.
So now I'm just gonna riff out and jam and play, and uh, on the beautiful Epiphone SGG400, just restrung it, it looks so nice, I think you guys will agree. And also, if you haven't noticed, I am rocking the Swinglehurst Guitars t-shirt, because guys, we all know that we love Swinglehurst Guitars, especially me, Matt the Riffmaster has fallen deeply in love with Swinglehurst guitars. But that's for a whole different video that I have to say about these guitars and my experience on playing them. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you're all doing good. Like always, comment below, let me know your thoughts on this transition, picking type of wizardry, whatever it is we're gonna do. Uh, we'll chat and give it a thumbs up, share it if you're new, subscribe, join the family. And as always guys, rock out, be awesome, and I'll see you very, very soon. See ya!